Today, we're going to re-thread the screws located on the suction port on a Lonsin water pump using an M6 by 0.1 helicoil kit. This technique can be used for many different parts and machines to repair damaged threads. Firstly, remove the pump using a 10mm socket spanner, keeping the bolt safe. Then, disconnect all the parts on the suction hose to reveal the screw holes that need re-threading. Before starting, you will need to determine the size of the helical needed to re-thread. As a top tip, a simple and cost-effective way to know how far to drill out a damaged thread is to measure the depth of the hole and mark this on the drill. Next, get the 6mm drill bit provided in the helical 6mm kit, then drill out the hole using a power drill. Now, using the tap, knowing the size and the pitch, Place this in a ratchet to easily re-thread the hole. Place the ratchet in straight, start off slowly to make sure you have aligned the tap correctly. Turn until you have re-threaded the hole and then release by unscrewing the ratchet. Now get the insulation tool and adjust so you know the measurement of the hole depth for the new insert. When you know the size, attach the spring on the end of the tool, making sure the tang is in the slot. Now, place this in the hole, twisting the new helicoil until it is secure. This should be half a turn below the surface. Do not twist against the direction of the thread, as this could damage the spring. Then, remove the tang at the end of the spring. Gently tap this with the brake tool provided, the tang should snap off. You can now reattach the parts back, including the check valve and suction flang. Align the bolts and washers back and then tighten with a 10mm socket spanner. As you can see, you have now repaired the damaged threads, so the bolts can now securely be screwed back. Let's say you re-thread the bolts located in the suction port on a Lonsin water pump using a helical kit. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.